I'm Connie Swafford Grins. I went to school here in kindergarten to begin with in 1952. The Providence Academy opened in 1873, serving as a school, orphanage, and the home and headquarters for the Sisters of Providence. This building is filled with stories of bravery and courage of these women and the sacrifices they made to provide hospitals and education and orphanages. Mother Joseph was the building's mastermind. I don't really think the people of Vancouver really understand the depth of Mother Joseph's influence in the Pacific Northwest. She had to be the pinnacle of, of human endeavor. Uh, she didn't know the word no. I can't imagine anybody I know doing what she did. She was the architect and the driver that made this building happen. She was a visionary, and as we have studied the academy, it is a tremendously well-built building. So this is where the sisters took care of the children at night, this, the dormitories. I've been able to bring 2,000 people here to the academy over the last 10 years. Uh, we have a program at Providence that we want all of our executives and directors particularly to understand our origin. And there's nothing that says it more than to visit uh, the academy, Fort Vancouver, and the cemetery to have them understand the terrific impact that Mother Joseph has made in the Northwest. The Hidden family bought the academy in 1969. Lowell Hidden's company provided the bricks for the building at Mother Joseph's request. My father and my two brothers and I bought the academy to save it from uh, having it torn down. I'm the fourth generation brickmaker. The Fort Vancouver National Trust is undergoing a $16 million capital campaign to purchase and restore the building. The Hidden family is so excited about the trust taking over the legacy of the preservation of the academy. It makes a wonderful blend for Vancouver and for the next generations to come. The academy building is, in my view, the most significant historic building in the entire region, uh, if not the state. The Hiddens have done a great job of preserving the academy uh, and uh, the, the envelope of the building and, and certainly uh, the fact that many of their tenants have been there for uh, many, many years is a testament to that. But the kinds of capital improvements that are required at this point will require significant investment. Uh, we're challenged and uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to meet the challenge. We don't, th there's no such thing as, as not getting there. And we're going to get there and, and have something that's a real jewel for our community and, and the greater nation. One of the first things that Elson said to me when we met and we talked about the building, he said, it's just a building unless we can tell the story. Uh, this building was the epicenter of the work that Mother Joseph did. Uh, so we owe it to her. Uh, and we owe it to the region to be able to tell that story uh, as well as preserving the building uh, really in perpetuity.